Hi guys, welcome back to my rabbit hole of K-pop. I am Atomic Rabbit. Today is the day. The day that I will start deep diving into NCT. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while and watched more of my videos, you know that I am sort of documenting my K-pop discoveries on this channel. So I'm not the regular reaction channel. I don't call myself a reaction channel. I'm just really sharing my progress and my discoveries with you guys. So this is kind of like my virtual living room with my virtual couch where we just sit down and I discover things and I just share my thoughts and impressions. And today is the day that I am finally getting to the <laughs> immense pile of content there is for NCT. Before I start anything at all, fair warning, I I'm not going to take any requests. I usually don't, like 97% of the time I ignore requests. I also explain this in my community posts and in the introduction video for this channel because it is me sharing my journey. And for the groups that I am getting to know and discovering, I prepare playlists and I just work my way through that playlist. And I do this because otherwise I just lose the wider view on everything that is happening. So I just go through that playlist. I am not following the playlist that is on the NCT channel. I'm starting with NCT Dream. So I just went through the whole NCT Dream playlist, picked out things that for now I want to be watching and I want to be watching it with you guys and when I'm done with NCT Dream I will carry on with NCT 127 and then also include Wavy of course as it is a subunit. Now Wavy is one of the groups that I have sort of caught up with so at least for everything MV I am fairly certain that I have watched most NCT 127 stuff as well as well as the NCT U subunit videos but for NCT Dream, I have barely seen anything except for the most recent stuff. So that is why I'm starting off with NCT Dream, gonna work my way through that, then NCT 127, then Wavy, and then I'm gonna probably go through the uncut playlist or the more behind the scenes playlist to see if there's anything that I want to be watching right now, anything that might be helpful for me to watch now. I'm doing that to get more of a grasp of the group. So anything variety content will be something that I will be getting into later when I have some room. As I said in one of the most recent community posts as well, I just reached a point where I'm losing too much time with the whole editing process and it's not the editing process itself it's the time that i lose my laptop because it just takes that enormous amount of time to export videos um which is a lot so that is why i just stick to that playlist that i make i just stick to the things that i think for now i can afford to be watching together with you guys which means that i will be skipping a lot for now as well i'm planning on watching a lot of stuff but you have to understand that in between me watching k-pop content that i film i am not watching any k-pop content barely just really barely there's maybe one video something that i will be watching during the week besides what i am watching on the channel because i just don't have the time anymore to do that process has become so slow and so long that is also the reason i have that gofundme campaign set up in hopes to be able to continue to do this and every time i want to give you more and more and more and as much as i can but the truth is it's just really draining a lot of energy so in order to save energy try not to get too frustrated with everything and work with what i've got it's just gonna be this so I am expecting a lot of, you know, there's this video and this video is here and well, and you can watch that and there's this show and maybe you could watch that and go watch this and react to this. I'm expecting all those. I will be ignoring them. So in advance, I'm telling you, all that I just said before this is the reason why I'm going to be ignoring that. So don't take it personally. It's just, this is the way it goes. This is my channel. This is in my best interest. You are welcome to join the ride. And if you are not enjoying it, that is totally fine. There's no hard feelings. I can't see it because it's on the other side of the screen. 
And if you're enjoying yourself spending that little moment with me, watching some of our favorite artists, all is well. I think that was a good introduction to start of NCT weeks. Let's head into the first NCT Dream MV and performance video for Chewing Gum. Oh wow! Chisan's voice has really just I can only hear it. Not even 12 for some. Mark was just born a rapper. That hasn't changed. What the He looks like he's eight years old. Uh. These shorts make him look like 
like he's that questionable uncle at the party. Not the best choice of outfit. Concept, but I love how Jeno, Jemin, and Jisung are just really going for it. Uh, so cute. For a second, I thought I was watching like one of those child shows from way back when I was a kid myself. And I'm looking at it and I see that it's, well, it's old. It's, it's 2016. They look like that in 2016. How? I'm not going to do any calculations. They were very young. They looked really, really young. It was way less bubbly and kiddo-like than I thought it was going to sound. Because I had this idea that NCT Dream was just really old too peppy to my taste but it actually sounds really good it's k-pop it's fun and it's bubbly and it's more towards what i would say what i'm used to from girl groups k-pop yeah because that is sort of a similar style but then in the nct form or maybe i should say sm form because i could really hear like, the melodies being used and the multiple layers of vocals being used in this song so it's kind of a bubbly concept but put in a sort of a semi-mature jacket this is gonna be a fun ride this is gonna be a fun discovery going from where they are now to back then and also hear how nct dream is compared to one to seven and to wavy because wavy i'm pretty familiar with and i know how it sounds i'm also pretty familiar with the nct sound as a whole but hearing the subtle differences between it all this is gonna be very interesting I just need to figure out how to be doing this in order to avoid dragging this out over months because it's going to be a lot. So maybe I might just do multiple videos per sit. You know, just one long video. Well, long. I can't do too long because I'm... that will be... Well, maybe I could. It would be better, wouldn't it, to do a longer video with multiple stuff. You can let me know what you prefer. Would you prefer having multiple videos in, in one go? Five or six maybe? Or have just like this videos that will be... They will be shorter than this because now I just had to give that whole NCT introduction. But like 10 to 15 minute videos which will only include... Just let me know what, what works for you and I'll try to work with that. With the videos that I select for my playlists that is. Because I'm still not going to be doing requests. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do requests with the amount of content that is out there and that I want to watch. 
Thank you so much for joining me on my couch today. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one, guys. Annyeong!